Thank you so much for joining me for this morning practice. It's going to be a super gentle, easy flow that you can take any morning to wake your body up and feel really good for the day ahead. So we're going to jump straight into it and we're going to get started in a seated, comfortable position. So that could be in an armchair, it could be sat up in bed. I'm going to be kneeling, so just closing down the eyes maybe if that feels good. And we're just going to start with some gentle shoulder rolls. So taking the shoulders up and back. And inhaling as you lift the shoulders, exhaling, rolling them back and down. Now reversing that movement, so inhaling, rolling the shoulders up and then exhaling, rolling them forwards and down. One last time, exhaling, rolling the shoulders down and now on the inhale we're going to take both hands up into the air and then exhaling and just letting them fall. So inhaling, reaching upwards, maybe taking the eyes up, and then exhaling, just allowing everything to fall. One last time, inhaling, reaching upwards, exhaling, allowing the arms to fall, maybe taking a little shake out of the wrists and the hands. And we're gonna go ahead and meet in a tabletop position. So taking our hands, under the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. We're just going to invite in a gentle cat-cow movement. So inhaling, lifting the chest, and then exhaling, arching the back, tucking the chin, tucking the tailbone. Inhaling, lifting. Exhaling, rolling everything under, pressing down through the hands. One more inhale, lifting the chest. And then on the next inhale, we're going to take the right foot in between the hands. So untucking the left toes. We're going to inhale, reaching the arms up overhead. And exhale, taking the elbows down to shoulder height, finding a cactus pose here, inhaling, sweeping, exhaling, sweeping the arms forwards, inhaling, opening the chest, drawing the elbows back, exhaling, sweeping the hands forwards, tucking the chin, Inhaling, drawing the shoulder blades together, lifting the chest. One last time, exhaling, folding forwards, taking the hands out in front. Inhaling, drawing the shoulder blades together, taking the elbows backwards. And then taking the hands down to the mat, we're going to tuck the left toes, lifting the left knee gently gently finding our way into a low lunge and then on the inhale planting the left hand reaching the right hand upwards exhaling swinging that hand down into a big circle inhaling reaching it back up ahead exhaling rolling it all the way down inhale rolling it all the way back up one last time, exhaling, taking the hand forward and down. Inhaling, taking it backwards and up. And then exhaling, taking it all the way down to the mat. We're going to find our balance. And then straightening the front leg, taking the back foot all the way down, coming into our pyramid pose here. So straightening our front leg, inhaling, lifting the chest. And then on the exhale, folding forwards, drawing the right hip back. And you only need to come down 
as far as feels good. Breathing in here, maybe taking the hands down to the mat, to the shin or to the thigh. Maybe taking the hands down to some blocks if you have them. Breathing in here, releasing a full exhale. On the next inhale, we're going to bend into the right knee, lifting the chest, taking the hands up overhead into our high lunge. And then with the exhale, we're going to straighten the front leg, turning to the left, finding a wide legged, like a five pointed star pose. And then on the exhale, we're going to fold all the way forward, finding a wide legged forward fold. And again, if you're practicing this one first thing in the morning, we only need to come down as far as feels comfortable, allowing the release all through the backs of the legs, and checking in with the kneecaps. Are they lifted? Are you squeezing the quads? Can you relax them and feel a little bit more release through the backs of the hamstrings? On the inhale, lifting the chest, taking the hands up overhead, coming back up into our five-pointed star. We're going to turn left again, so pointing the left toes towards what's now the front of our mat, but was the back of the mat. Straightening the left leg, keeping the back foot all the way on the floor. On the exhale, folding at the hips, drawing the left hip back, coming into our pyramid on the other side. And again, maybe taking the hands down to the floor or to the shin or the thigh, finding the point that feels best for you this morning. Drawing the back nice and straight. Breathing in here and releasing any tension on the exhale. On the inhale, we're going to bend into the left knee, taking our hands down to the mat, keeping the right knee lifted, taking the hand, the right hand down to the mat. We're going to inhale, lifting the left hand high. And then on the exhale, sweeping that hand down, inhaling, lifting it up behind. Exhaling, rolling it forwards and down. Inhaling, lifting back and up. And then one last time, exhaling, rolling the hand down. Inhaling, rolling it all the way back up. And then exhaling it all the way down to the floor. We're going to drop the right knee down, untucking the right toes. And with the next inhale, lifting the chest, lifting the hands up overhead into our low lunge. Exhaling, folding forward. Inhaling, drawing the shoulder blades together, taking the elbows to shoulder height. Exhaling, folding forward, sweeping the hands forwards. Inhaling, drawing the hands back, opening the chest. Exhaling, folding forwards, maybe tucking the chin. Inhaling, drawing the chest up, taking the elbows back. Taking just one moment here. And then on the next exhale, taking the hands down to the floor, we're going to take the left knee back into our tabletop and sinking the hips back onto our feet. We're going to take the feet round in front of us, coming down into reclined pose. And maybe taking the feet in towards the glutes, taking the hands down to the mat. We're going to inhale, rolling the hips all the way up. Exhaling, rolling them back down to the mat. Inhaling, lifting the hips, pressing forwards and upwards. 
exhaling, sinking them down, allowing them to meet the floor once again. Final time, inhaling, pressing forwards and up, feeling the release all across the front of the hip flexors. And then exhaling, taking the hips back down to the mat, drawing the knees into the chest, taking a little rock from side to side maybe. Taking a deep inhale here, and then on the exhale, taking the knees wide of the chest, maybe taking the feet up to the sky, and if it feels good, taking hold of the big toes of the peace fingers, keeping the elbows inside of the knees, finding our happy baby pose, and maybe finding a little bit of movement in this happy baby maybe a gentle rock from side to side maybe one leg straightens and then the other breathing in deeply here and with the exhale releasing the toes drawing the knees into the chest exhaling releasing the feet down to the floor maybe extending the legs long closing down the eyes and taking our final resting shavasana and just taking a moment to set your intentions for the day what you want to achieve how you want to feel Thank you so much for practicing me with me this morning and I hope you have a really wonderful day.